this is a <clears throat> this is a very unforgiving game. You know, this game ain't based on sympathy at all. Uh, you know, you have to go to work. You have to correct what we did wrong. We have to, you know, quit being okay with just, you know, being average in a lot of aspects of what we do. And, you know, we have to do a lot of extra work this week, you know, as well. Uh, it's obvious that we have to correct the things that we need to correct. And we have to work hard on that as well. Uh, Wes Rucker. Trey, with those turnovers in the first half, just how, how difficult is it to, to beat any SEC team when you kind of dig a hole like that for yourself? Yeah, I mean, the team that makes the mistakes will win. Um, of our maximums, you know, it, it speaks volumes and it really showed the day. You know, we made more mistakes, we didn't win. You know, you, you want to always, you know, protect the ball, you know, the ball, the ball, the ball. You don't want to give up the ball to other teams. Uh, you don't want to give them another opportunity, another chance. Because the likelihood when you control the ball and you don't have turnovers, you're going to have points on the board. Uh, I mean, they're, they're costly mistakes, um, just things we have to clean up as offense and in our game. We just have to get better at it. Rob Lewis. Trey, as one of the leaders on, on this team, just what's your sense of, you know, the, the, the bounce back capability of this squad? I mean, you, you get the, the feeling that this is the kind, kind of group of guys that will do what it takes to turn things around? Yeah, we have no choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, we signed up for it. This is our university. We love it. We're going to defend it. And at the end of the day, you know, if you don't if you don't agree with that, you don't like that, you can get out. But this week we're going to go to work. We're going to correct what we need to correct. We're going to get extra work in as well because we have to fix this. At the end of the day, it's up to us to fix this. But we all have to make a cognitive decision that we're going we're gonna to fix this university. We're going to fix this football team. We're going to fix our mistakes. We're going to perform better. Wes? Trey, uh, Jeremy Pruitt said after the game that there there were a couple of plays there on those pick sixes where he, he didn't he didn't think some of the offensive guys were were trying as hard as they could to make that tackle on a pick six. Is that something you've seen before? And did you think it happened today? Yeah, I mean, I can speak for myself. I know I didn't sprint down to the ball. I was like 30 yards away. One time I didn't even uh, realize that he threw an interception. Um, and I didn't sprint to the ball. So, I mean, I can speak for myself. I mean, you see me sitting up here. I said I didn't do it. So, yeah, it's definitely a problem. We got to do better on that. Which one did you – did you was it was it the, the longer one or the short one that you didn't that you – You got to see it. I didn't see it. <clears throat> Wes again? Yes. Yeah, uh, Trey, with some of the, the pass protection issues, how, how much of that has been a surprise for you? I mean, I know that this group's got a lot of guys who are, who are prospects and they're are highly thought of. And have some of the pass protection issues been a surprise for you? I mean, I, I don't really expect issues, you know what I mean? I can't really say I'm surprised. I can't really say I'm, I didn't see it coming, you know what I mean? You know, they have checks, they play in SEC too. We're going to get beat sometimes. Um, at the end of the day, it's just about execution again, uh, just knowing our assignments, committing to our assignments, you know, and just being confident in our technique and finishing people. Uh, it's just something we got to address and keep getting better at. Uh, you know, you can have all the stars in the world, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's due to performance against a man in front of you. And as a squad, we just got to keep getting better and do better. Trey Wallace. Uh, okay, let's go to Eric Kane. Hey, Trey, I know the result's obviously not what you wanted, but it's rebounded, run the, running the football a little bit better, especially on that one touchdown drive. What can you say about uh, your line's performance and about that bounce back effort to run the football? Yeah, um, you know, we, we, we know we have to impose our will and uh, be able to run the ball and run the rock when needed. Uh, you know, obviously, to keep the defense honest and keep them having different checks and things of that nature. And, you know, we got to take more pride in that, just finishing guys and get them off the ball. I thought we had some good success at times, but, uh, you know, there are other times that we could even push it even further and, you know, get our assignments, fit up on linebackers and spring bigger runs. Um, you know, it's sort of repetitive saying it again, but it's up to us to, you know, do our assignments, make the plays, play hard, you know, play with effort, toughness, doing the things that we know is the standard here. You know, we have to uphold the standard at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, you know, we saw the results in the field this week. We have to go to work to correct it. Gustavo? Trey, of course, wasn't the result you guys expected, but in terms of supporting, for example, your starting quarterback, how do you feel like, you know, overcoming this loss and moving forward? 
Yeah, man, I'm always going to have Jerry Garantano's back, regardless. I'm a big fan of Jerry Garantano. The man works his butt off every day. Um, you know, a lot of times we're all not perfect, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, he comes to work every day. He's going to get the job done. I have a lot of faith and confidence in the University of Tennessee coaching staff that they're going to put the right guy in the game that put us in a position to win. And obviously today, I thought it was Jared, and I still believe in him as well. I believe in any quarterback here because at the end of the day, we're all ready to play uh, when needed. So going forward, man, I mean, I don't want to see any Garantano slander personally. It's just, you know, I just don't want to see it. Uh, Gentry asked this. Yeah, Trey, just how disappointing is it when th things like playing hard, effort, toughness come up? I mean, did you feel like this program was past that? I mean, I don't think any program is really truly past that, personally. I mean, it's football, man. You're going to get tired. You're not going to have a good player once in a while. Uh, I mean, I think you're going to be disappointed as a coach, as a program, as, you know, a team, whenever someone's not playing their hardest or, you know, they could have given their all and sprung a block. I know I am. I know the times that I feel like I didn't, you know, I'm pissed at myself. So, you know, I don't really say it's just as a program, you know, it's an issue. I would say, you know, as a sport, it's an issue. Everyone gets tired, man. But at the end of the day, like I said, for the fifth time, we just have to correct you. We got to go to work. We got to keep trying. Got to got your film. We just got to get better. At the end of the day, we have got to get better. We got to execute better. Uh, David Evan. Uh, Trey, what was it kind of like on the sidelines today uh, with uh, all the quarterback carousel the switches? What, what was that like for you guys as an offense? Uh, I wouldn't really say uh, it affected us too much, David. Uh, you know, once again, you know, we have complete confidence in whoever – uh, we feel that the Tennessee coaching staff feels that can lead us out there and get us the best results. Uh, we take reps with uh, pretty much all our quarterbacks uh, on, the, on the team as well. So when it comes down to cadences and issues of that nature, you know, we're still running the same offense. And they're all very well coached by, uh, you know, Coach Winky as well. So any guy that they feel that's up there, you know, we're going to work with and we're ready to go. All right, we got one more time for one more question. So, Wes, go ahead. Trey, as, as one of the, the biggest leaders on this team, do, do you feel like it's you know, one of your responsibilities to make sure this bothers everybody as much as it's bothering you and some other guys? Yeah, 100%. Uh, it actually is killing me right now just thinking about it. Uh, you know, having Al Wilson come and talk to us and, you know, just that performance, man, it's, it's tearing at me right now. I'll be honest with you. I feel disappointed in myself, uh, first and foremost. So it's going to be a soul check this week. You know, seeing who I am as a leader, uh, as a player, and then evaluating my film for myself. How did I play? What type of effort did I give before I evaluate anybody else? You know, so it's definitely going to be a soul check this week. All right. Thank you, Trey. Thank you all.